Hey everybody, Lindsay Smith here with your business tip this week. This week I want to talk about the powerful art of discarding things in your life. Now, I recently had the fortune of reading a book called The Life-Changing Art of Tidying Up by a woman named Marie Kondo. Now, Marie is a Japanese um, home organization specialist where she comes into your home, helps you tidy up and get everything back into order. And one of the key principles that she says is she needs to start the process with discarding. Now what's so interesting about discarding things before you start to organize things that Marie has a 100% record of having no repeat clients, which is phenomenal because all of her clients keep their house and their spaces in order after she comes because they follow the plan which starts with discarding things. Now, I went through and looked at some areas in my, inside my house and tidied up and you guys can do things in your office and read the book and do things in your office, but I had a profound realization about my life in general. You see, one of the things that Marie doesn't do is invest any money or any you know, significant amount of money in storage solutions. Everyone thinks oh, organizing about storing stuff, but in reality, all you're doing is collecting a bunch of stuff that you may not use, you may not like, and it's still around. You're just putting it into a different spot. So it's not about finding better storage solutions. And in terms of your real estate business, people have overwhelming amounts of things to do and things that they're focusing their time on. But time management is just about trying to try to get everything done when in reality there's so many things that you shouldn't be doing in the first place. So when you take Marie Kondo's method and apply it to your business, the first thing you want to do is look at the activities that you don't need to be doing. What can you discard in your business? What can you discard in your life? You see, if you have all these items that take up your time, it's exactly like storing stuff in your house. Marie recommends you focus on only on the things that you love. Now, in order for a business to run, sometimes we have to do things that we don't love but need to get done. But I suggest you focus the majority of the time on your sweet spot, things that you're fantastic at. But in order to spend more time on those, you have to discard the things that you don't need to be doing. So take a, make a list of everything that you have to get done on a daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly basis. Commitments you have. Maybe you volunteer at organizations. Maybe you sit on committees. Maybe you, um, you, know, you are in charge of doing the graphic design in your business right now and you'd love to subcontract that out. But make a list of the things, everything you do in your business, and then before you start to try to fit it all in, start by discarding. And what you'll find is you might free up 30 to 50% of your time by just deciding what you're no longer going to commit to. And then you can start rebuilding your life around and your business around just things that you're great at, things that you enjoy, and things that you should truly be doing. Start by discarding and realizing that organizing after that point in your life, your business, your spaces will be 10 times easier. That's your business tip this week. All the best in doing a ton of business for the rest of the year.